Okay, again, good afternoon for IT6201 data structures and algorithms. So, priority queue and sorting techniques. That is for week seven and eight. The outline is priority queue, basic operations of priority queues, heap trees, And then, of course, we need to have an objective to familiarize with the priority queue and threes, to know the basic operation of priority queue, to know how to insert a new and delete a heap three node. A priority queue is more specialized data structure than queue. Like ordinary queue, Priority queue is a small method, but but with a major difference. In priority queue, items are ordered by key value so that item with the lowest value is at front and item with the highest value of key is at rear or vice versa, or it is at the end. So we're assigned priority to item based on its key low value. Lower the value, higher the priority. So you will see an example here of the priority queue representation. So this is the insert and this is the remove for the queue. Can you still see guys? Yes ma'am. Okay. Next. So we'll have this the insert or end queue. Add an item to the rear of the queue. Remove the queue. Remove an item from the front of the, the queue. So the insert or end queue operation. So you will see here 12, 1, 9, 5, and 3. So this is the front, which is 3, and then 15. Okay, whenever an element is inserted and two into Q, priority Q inserts the item according to its number. So here we're assuming that data with high value has low priority. So you will see here the rear is 15. Remove or the Q operation. Whenever an element is to be removed, from Q, Q get the element using item count. Once element is removed, item count is reduced by one. So you will see here, the rear is 15. So since we use the remove or the Q operation, of course you will remove the three. So this one, one item removed from front. So where is the front? What number is the front? Number three. Hello? Can you still yeah. the, see the slides, guys? Yes. Hello? Three. Hello? Can you hear me, guys? Hello, ma yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. Ma so the front is three. Number three is stored in arrays. It was noted earlier that binary tree can be stored with the help of pointer-like structures in which each item contains references to each children. If the tree in question is a complete binary tree, there is a useful array-based alternative. A binary tree is complete if every level, except possibly the last, is completely filled and all the trees on the last level are placed as far as left as possible. So a complete binary tree is one that can be obtained by filling the nodes starting with the root and then its next level in turn, always from the left until one runs out of nodes. So the complete binary tree always have minimal height for their size and namely, log 2n and are always perfectly balanced. 
So I'll give you an example for a complete binary tree, which is characterized by having all the levels completely filled except possibly for the last level. So last level has all the keys as possible. So this is the by complete binary tree. So you will see there A, which is the root or the level zero. B and C level one, D, E, F, G level two, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O is the level three, okay? So is priority Q same as hip or the hip tree? A priority Q is an abstract data type. It is a shorthand way of describing particular interface and behavior and says nothing about the underlying implementation. So a, a heap is a data structure. It is named for a particular way of storing data that makes certain operations very efficient. So in a computer science, a priority queue is an abstract data type, which is like a regular queue or stock data structure but where additionally each element has a priority associated with it. Priority and binary. While most Q in everyday life operate on a first come first serve basis. So like in a hospital, okay? So usually where life threat, um, in a casual, has, casualty department, where life-threatening injuries need to be treated first. So that means the first one who came or who went to the hospital, they will be the first one to be treated. The structure of a complete binary tree in array form is particularly useful for representing such priority cues. Also an example for a uh, in a bank, right? if you have transaction, it's also a first-come, first-served basis, even in a groceries, okay? So the first line, the first one on the line will be the first one to be served and so on. It turns out that these queues can be implemented efficiently by a particular type of complete binary tree known as binary heap tree. The idea is that the node lab levels, which were the search keys when talking about binary trees are now numbers, representing the binary priority of each item in question with higher numbers, meaning a higher priority. Each item in question with higher numbers, meaning a higher priority. With hip trees, it is possible, okay, so a specific data type, data structure in which all nodes are in a specific order. Let's say if X is a parent node, then the value of X follows. Some specific order with the respect to value of Y and same order will be followed across the tree. So this is the binary tree. The priority of the root is higher or equal to that of children. The le left and right trees of the roots are hip trees. Alternatively, a hip tree is a complete binary tree, such as the priority of every node is higher or equal. Okay, so this is an example of a minimum hip tree. When the value of the root node is less than or equal to either of its children. So we have the given input, 35, 33, 42, 10, 14, 19, 27, 44, 26, 31. So you will see here that the root is smaller than the children. While the maximum, you will see here that the root node is greater than or equal to either of their children. 
So the procedure to create the minimum hip is similar, but we go for the minimum values instead of a maximum values. So what will be the advantage of priority queue? With linked list, it's delayed to highest priority. Can be more efficient as we don't have to move items. Using HIPs, HIP is generally preferred for priority queue implementation because HIPs provide a better performance compared arrays or links. So is priority queue sorted? An abundant, unbounded priority queue based on a priority HIP, the elements of the priority queue are ordered according to their natural ordering or by a comparator, provided at queue construction time depending on which constructor is used. A priority queue does not permit null elements. So that's why we're going to discuss the sorting. What are the different types of sorting? The function of different types of sorting techniques. So of course we have to know to define the sorting, what are, uh, how to sort notion of order, be familiarized with the types of sorting techniques like selection, bubble, insertion, shell, shell sort, merge sort, hip sort, and radix sort. What is sorting? In computer science, arranging in an ordered sequence is sorting. Sorting is a common operation in many applications and efficient algorithms to perform it have been developed. The most common sorted sequence are making merging an efficient enabled processing of data in a defined order. So in short, sorting is a process of ordering, arranging items ordered by some criterion, categorizing or grouping items with similar properties. So bubble sort referred to as sinking sort, or it is a simple sorting algorithms that repeatedly steps through the list, compares adjacent elements and swap them if they are in the wrong order. Insertion, a simple sorting algorithm that builds the final sorted array on one item. So it is much, much less efficient and more advanced, such as quick sort, hip sort, or a merge sort. Selection sort is a simple sorting algorithm wherein it is placed comparison based algorithm in which the list is divided into two parts. The sorted part at the left and the unsorted part at the right end. So we discussed already the hip sort or it is a comparison-based sorting technique. Merge sort here is we apply the divide and conquer, okay? To subgroup them and merge back to make a sorted. The shell sort, we have to sort first the elements far apart from each other and then reduce the interval between the elements to be sorted. Then the radix sort is a sorting algorithm used for numbers. So let's have the selection sort. Given the values 12, 6, 22, 14, 8, 17. So the rule is give, given the n numbers to sort. Repeat the following n minus 1 times. Mark the first unsorted. So what is the first unsorted? 12. Find the smallest unsorted number, which is six. It, then swap the mark and smallest number. Okay, 12 unsorted. Six is the smallest, then swap. Okay, next. Six, 12. Well, 12 and eight, then swap. Next number is 22. The smallest number is 12, then swap. 
Mark the first unsorted, which is 14. Okay, so 14 is already sorted, so we'll proceed to 22. Smallest is 17, then swap. So repeat the following and it's already now sorted. So I'll try to do this, practice. 15, 3, 11, 19, 4, and 7. Let's have another type of sort. Given the same value, using the bubble sort, we have 12, 6, 22, 14, 8, and 17. Given the n numbers to sort, okay? So for each pair of adjacent numbers, if the number on the left is greater than the number on the right, swap them. So 12, so 12 is bigger than 6, so you have to swap them. Next, 12 and 22, 22 and 14, so swap. Next, okay, 22 and 8, swap. 22 and 17, swap. So are they sorted? Not yet. So let's have 6 and 12, okay, sorted. 14, 8, not yet, so swap. Next, 17, sorted, 22. So sorted already, not yet. Let's continue. 6, 12, 8, swap. 14, 17, 22. So got it, guys? So it is now. Sorted 6, 8, 12, 14, 17, and 22. Can you still follow, guys? Yes, ma'am. Hello? Ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma so how efficient is the bubble sort? So try this. Practice 15, 3, 11, 19, 4, and 17. I seven, I'm sorry. Okay, let's have the insertion sort. Given the values 50, 80, 10, 30, 90, and 60. 50, 10, okay. So 10, 80 is greater than 10. You have to swap them. 30, 90, 60. So 10, 50 and 10, swap it. 10, 50, 80. 30, 90, and 60. Next, 10, 50, 30. Okay, swap. You will have the 30 and 50. Then 80, 90, 60. Next, pass. So you will call this, guys, is passes. 10, 30, 50, 60, and 80. You have to swap them. You will get 60 and 80, then 90. You get the final result, which is 10, 30, 50, 60.